If you want to boost your FPS from this to this, well, in this video I'll show you the newest void strap fast flags that give you max FPS, smooth graphics, and ultra low ping. Whether your PC is old, weak, or just struggling with stutters, this 2025 guide will completely transform your Roblox performance. So let's jump right in. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Maximize CPU performance by unlocking all processors for Roblox. In this step, we will make sure your computer uses all of its processor cores so Roblox can run smoother and faster. Press the Windows key on your keyboard, type System Configuration in the search bar, and open it. When the window opens, click the Boot tab at the top. Now click the Advanced Options button. A new box will appear. Tick the checkbox that says Number of Processors. From the drop-down menu, choose the highest number available. This number represents how many CPU cores your system has. By doing this, you are telling Windows to use every processor core instead of leaving some unused. This can make your system respond faster, run Roblox more smoothly, and increase your FPS, frames per second. Once you've selected the number, click OK, then Apply, and finally close the window. Your CPU is now set to full power, which means smoother gameplay, reduced lag, and lower input delay when playing Roblox. Step 2. Making your CPU work better by unparking CPU cores for Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU is made up of multiple cores, which are like mini processors inside it. Sometimes, Windows parks, disables, some of these cores to save power. When playing Roblox, this can slow things down. Right-click the app and select Run as Administrator so it has full access to your system. Once the program opens, it will scan your CPU and show you which cores are active and which ones are parked. Click the Unpark button to activate all your cores. After this, your CPU will run at its full strength all the time. This will improve Roblox performance, reduce FPS drops, and make your system feel much faster. The reason this matters is because a parked core is basically wasted and not being used. By unparking them, every single core is working to process Roblox, which means less stuttering, better FPS stability, and a stronger overall gaming experience. Step 3. Newest Void Strap Fast Flags to Optimize Roblox Performance You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we are going to use a program called Void Strap Launcher to boost Roblox graphics and overall performance. First, download the Void Strap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Once it finishes downloading, install it. After installation, click on the Windows search bar, type Void Strap, and open the app. When Void Strap opens, go to the Settings menu. In the Integrations tab, you will see options like Player Message Logs and a few extra tools, but those are not very important for performance. Next, move to the Deployment tab. Here, you will see options such as Multi-Instance Launching, which is very useful if you want to open multiple Roblox windows, and another feature called Cross-Game Teleportation. In the Modifications tab, you will find folders such as the Mods folder, the old Death Sound toggle, and other familiar options that are similar to Blockstrap. The Fast Flag Editor tab is where the most important changes are made. This section has small ticks and crosses that show whether a flag is preset or not. At the top of the user interface, you also have options to copy all the flags, copy them in JSON format, and even use a search tool to quickly find any specific flag. There is also profile support so you can save and load different setups. Now, we are going to copy and paste our custom fast flags into this editor by importing a JSON file. After importing, save the flags and get ready to compare performance in Roblox. The Fast Flag Settings tab includes built-in presets that let you enable performance boosts quickly. These presets can lower ping and raise FPS, something that Blockstrap does not include. Voidstrap also has an Appearance tab, a Shortcuts tab, and even a Beta AI chat feature, which may be useful in future updates. Once the flags are imported and saved, launch Roblox and compare your FPS. These changes will give Roblox smoother graphics, less input delay, and overall better gameplay performance. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game 
by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Use MSI Utility to optimize hardware performance for Fortnite. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. You can also improve your computer's performance and reduce input delay using a tool called MSI Utility. This tool helps your hardware communicate more efficiently with Windows. After downloading it, open the tool. You will see a list of devices connected to your PC. Find your graphics card, GPU, in the list. Tick the MSI box next to your GPU. Set the interrupt priority to high. Then find your integrated GPU, like Intel graphics, and do the same. Tick the MSI box and set interrupt priority to high. Click apply to save your changes and close the program. These settings help reduce input delay, improve your system's reaction time, and make Fortnite run smoother, especially on slower computers. What's happening here is that MSI mode lets your GPU and CPU communicate more directly, while setting the priority to high ensures your graphics tasks are handled faster than less important background tasks. Step 5. Improve CPU performance. Using Throttle Stop, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. To get even more performance from your CPU while playing Fortnite, we will use a tool called Throttle Stop. Go to your Tools folder and open the Throttle Stop folder. Double-click on throttlestop.exe to open it. When it opens, you will see different performance modes like Performance Mode, Game Mode, Internet Mode, and Battery Mode. Choose the one called Game Power Plan. Check the box next to High Performance. This setting tells your CPU to always focus on performance. Now look at these sections. Clock Mode, Set Multiplier, and Speed Shift settings. Do not change anything in those sections, just tick the box labeled Disable Turbo. This keeps your CPU at a stable speed and helps stop it from overheating or slowing down during gameplay. Click the button. Turn on, then click Save. Keep throttle, stop running in the background while you're playing Fortnite. This will help your CPU stay fast, stable, and smooth during your game. Step 6. Make your keyboard faster. Using filter keys. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we will use a tool called Filter Keys Setter to make your keyboard respond faster during Fortnite. Open the Filter Keys Setter program. You will see three main settings. Change them to Ignore. Under 0 milliseconds. This removes delay when pressing a key. Repeat. Delay. 130 milliseconds. This sets how fast a key starts repeating when held down. Repeat rate. 10 milliseconds. This makes your keyboard respond faster when pressing keys repeatedly. Check the box on the right side to turn these settings on. Click OK to apply the changes. This makes your keyboard more responsive, which is very helpful in fast-paced games like Fortnite. Step 7. Clean up junk files with Storage Sense for Fortnite. Open Windows Settings. Search for Storage Sense. Turn Storage Sense on. Click on Configure Cleanup Schedules. Set it like this. Run Storage Sense. Every day. Delete. Recycle bin files. After 14 days. Now click Run Storage Sense. Now. This clears up space, removes junk, and helps Fortnite use your system's resources better. By keeping your storage clean, Fortnite can load assets faster and avoid slowdowns caused by cluttered memory and disk usage. If these steps helped you fix low FPS, reduce lag, let me know in the comments how much your game improved, and I'll see you in the next video.